Good evening, Gabriel. Good night, teacher. How is it going? I am fine. Fine, okay. Are you going to have uh, the day off on Friday? Yes, we 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 had the day off. Nice. And what are you planning to do that day? Um. Actually, I I don't have any plan um yet, but. Uh, maybe uh, we will go to the um like a ranch and in a in a land where uh, my where se llama uh, Father-in-law um, made a um, uh, cultivo. Uh, uh, crops. 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 Okay. Okay. Then you are going to have a, 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 an atolada or something like that? Uh, no. Um, all core is... Um, is dry nowadays and they don't they, ha they have not to... had the rain they have not had enough rain um the rain is, is um much dry so the, that um no uh, in that area they to... don't have enough rain yeah. Oh, it's a pity. But we like to to go there to to make um a and they familiar. And, and they don't have any water source nearby. No tienen ningún tipo de agua cerca. Eh, no. The um. It uh, he has suggest, that project to suggest to... your suggest your your father in law to make a, a water pool. Uh, yes, but to make a several holes in, in but on on highlands, several uh -huh. holes on highlands and put plastic to try to gather a uh, water from from it and then when 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 it rains they could have a uh, deposits of water there and then they can make a uh, it come down uh, with uh, hosts o sea, con, con mangueras but oh, put yeah, but, yeah. but but uh, perforing the 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 hose where they need uh, the the water to fill yeah yeah i i i, I see that in other uh, yes, it, places it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a nice way to keep the the crops because yeah, exactly. uh, in el salvador maybe they don't have a constant rain but uh, you have enough rain in order to avoid it to dry but if you yeah. don't keep the rain uh, that's that's what happened but they yeah. could try to make holes in several parts and put in and put plastic they don't need to make a pool or something like that 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 costs too much but with plastic they avoid the water to get in and then can use that water in order to to uh, keep the crops growing. Yeah, he he likes to 
he likes uh, to do a big um, uh, pillars. I don't uh -huh. know. Or, yes, but um, you need you need a cement and in a different kind of things, even yeah. iron to make it. Yeah. But yeah, it, but make a hole and put and, and put plastic on it. Plastic is 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 cheaper. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. But um, it need to to change um year by year the the plastic because the sound yes yes you will need to change the plastic. Uh -huh. But but he use uh, he always use um uh the the recycled water from the roof of the house and he save the whole water on the pillars. Oh, then he used the, that water to 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 uh, uh to throw to the uh, uh, lemon uh, tree. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Good. Now let's start that. Hi, Irving. He's talking about the plants he has uh, for, he's going to visit his grand, no, his uh, fa father-in-law. Oh, uh, and they have crops, but they, uh, they, the crops are dry now, he said. And then mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm giving him some, some advices. Because I like crops. I yes. like crops. What I don't have is, is a land. <laughs> <laughs> but even <laughs> here in my in my little space in my patio, I had right now a, a what we saw a, a huerta, a, but como es a plantain, plantain. Okay, plantain crops. And I already had gathered four big things of plantain. So, a platano. Oh, good. Be because it's, it's different thing. Okay, it's raining hard, he said. Don't worry, Omar. Omar. Now. Let's see. Now we are going to see sentence stress. Okay. Now, the end product of education should be a free creative man who can battle against historical circumstances and adversities of nature. Okay, the end product of education, o sea, el producto final de la educación, should be a free creative man. Debería de ser un hombre libre y creativo, who can battle against historical circumstances, quien pueda eh, batallar en contra de circunstancias históricas, en adversities of nature y adversidades de la naturaleza. ¿Eh? Como lo que estaba describiendo yo ahorita, ¿verdad? De que eh, están perdiendo los, los cultivos porque no hay suficiente lluvia. Pero se puede ser creativo, ¿verdad? Para agarrar lo más que se pueda de lluvia y usarla cuando no está lloviendo. Okay. I have also papaws. So, son las papayas. And I have in, in, in pots that I made. So, he hecho unas macetas from, from the, my, my, my brother has uh, his own business. Um, eh, se llaman 
plantas de plantas de tratamiento de aguas residuales. ¿Verdad? Y entonces, este, aquí en, en Panamá no puede haber colonia que no tenga planta de tratamiento de aguas residuales. O sea, si usted va a hacer una colonia, tiene que tener su planta de tratamiento para la colonia. O sea, no dejan que el agua sucia vaya directo a, a, a arroyos sí. y cosas así, sino que eh, tienen que tener la planta de tratamiento. Entonces, él tiene eh, eh, es, 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 ese negocio. But he needs a lot of cloro. O sea, necesita cloro. Y los cloros vienen en, 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 en barrilitos como de, de plástico. Entonces, esos barrilitos de plástico, cuando él los desocupa, entonces yo se los pido que me los dé. Y en unos tengo guardada agua de lluvia y en otros eh, los estoy convirtiendo en macetas. Entonces, en esas macetas tengo naranjo, limón, mango, arrayán. Ah, no, arrayán no venden aquí, fíjense. No he encontrado arrayanes aquí, pero lo que tengo es guayaba. Eh, I also have passion fruit, lo que es el, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Maracuyá. Y el que yo tenía aquí de este lado me produjo el año pasado pero vinieron a arreglar el aire acondicionado y me arrancaron las plantas. Tenía tres plantitas y me las arrancaron. Entonces, ahorita hay uh -huh. una que se está queriendo renovar ahí, but uh -huh. it's, it's getting hard. But I planted another one in, in, in another part. And it is very, very, very big now. And, uh, it, it goes all around. Uh, the, we have a division pero es like, eh, es es como que fuera este o sea no es no es un muro sino que es como que fuera una cosa diferente ahí le voy a mandar fotos y mm. ahí está la, la 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 plantita se ha puesto bien bonita y ya está eh, eh, sacando flores o sea que ya va ya voy a tener otra vez maracuyá <ríe> and it's a very small part o sea es un patio pequeño pero ya tengo bastantes cosas y, y solamente en qué tres años oh, y están produciendo lo, lo, eh, lo que tengo en las macetas no porque como no he dejado que se hagan grandes the, the other things yes because they are planted on com compost and they are giving fruits very quickly porque están plantadas en compostaje entonces, eso les ha dado bastantes nutrientes y han estado dando, eh, produjeron, por ejemplo, las papayas antes del año. Hay una papaya que a los tres, a los cuatro meses de haber sido plantada, se plantada de semilla. A los cuatro meses ya me estaba dando papayitas. So, it's, it, it, the compost is the best thing for, for, for crops. Y, y, y es lo que más tiramos a la basura. O sea, todos los, todo lo que sacamos de la cocina sirve para compostar. Y es lo que yo estoy usando. I, I don't spend money on chemicals that damage the soil and damage the water. But I use the compost. Ok. Les voy a mandar fotos de mis cosas para que vean. Now, in this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Como les voy a enseñar eh, sonidos, tengo que mejorar esto aquí. Ok. Now. Notice that the important word in a sentence have more stress. For example, excuse me, excuse me, repeat, excuse me. Excuse repeat, please. Me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Si se fijan, ahí donde está ese punto más grande, es donde tiene que ir como que nosotros, lo que nosotros llamamos el acento, 
¿verdad? Es el estrés, el acento. No estoy hablando de tilde, estoy hablando de acento, porque en inglés no existen tildes. Pero sí existe estrés, o sea, el acento. Entonces, excuse me. Excuse me. They're perfect. They're perfect. They're perfect. I like the blue one. 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 Like the blue one. I like the blue one. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. They're not, they're not, they're not very attractive. Very attractive. Not attractive. 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 They're not, they're not very attractive. Very attractive. But esto no lo tienen en la plataforma. Esto se los, se los he puesto yo de mi cosecha. Ok. Uh, now. Uh, follow, follow the reading. Ok. Sentence, sentence stress is the music of spoken English. Like word stress. Sentence stress can help you to understand spoken English. Even rapid spoken English sentence stress, it is what gives English its rhythm or beat. You remember that word stress is accent on one syllable within a word. Sentence stress is accent on certain words within a sentence. Most sentences have two basic types of words, content words. Content words are the key words of a sentence. They're the important words that carry the meaning or sense, the real content. Okay, this this repeat with me, please. Content words. Content words. Content words. Are the key words of a sentence. Are the key are words of a sentence. They are the important words. They are the important words. That carry the meaning or sense. That carry the meaning of sense. The real content. O sea que esas son como las palabras más importantes de la oración. Eh, ¿Se han fijado que algunas veces ustedes leen y dicen, o sea, que hay mucha como basura, o sea, cosas que pueden ser des, de, eh, descartadas, pero hay cosas que son muy importantes que esas no pueden ser descartadas, porque es lo que le da el sentido a la oración. Entonces esas son las content words. Okay. Now, structure words. Structure words. Structure words are not very important words. Are not very important words. Permítanme, lo voy a poner pequeñito aquí. Okay. They are small, simple words. They are small, they simple are words that make the sentence correct grammatically. That make, make the sentence correct grammatically. They give the sentence its correct form. They give the sentence its correct form. Its structure. Its structure. Entonces, unas son 
content words y las otras son structure words. ¿Verdad? Las structure words no son tan importantes como las content words, pero le dan eh, como el sentido gramatical a la estructura. ¿Verdad? A la, a la oración. O sea, eh, es como que como que usted estuviera haciendo, qué sé yo, una, una estatua, pero esa estatua eh, necesita una estructura, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo importante es una parte y lo otro es como el relleno, ¿verdad? Para que se vea bonita. Okay. Sentence stress. Now, uh, repeat after me. If you remove the structure words from a sentence, if you remove the structure words from a sentence, you will probably still understand the sentence. You will probably still understand the sentence. If you remove the content words from a sentence, If you remove the words from a sentence, sentence, you will not understand the sentence. You will not understand the sentence. 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 The sentence has no sense or meaning. The, the sentence, sentence has, has no, no sense, sense or, or meaning. meaning. My, aquí, aquí está, eh, esto es como ejemplo del sentence stress. Imagine that you received this telegram message. Sell car go France. The, estas son content words. Sell car go France. ¿Qué puede entender ustedes? Bueno, Gone France, que se fue a Francia. Y que se vendió el, el auto. Y vendió. que vendió el carro o que, lo, o, o que lo necesita vender. ¿Verdad? Ok. This sentence is not complete. It is not a grammatically correct sentence. But you probably understand it. These four words communicate very well Somebody wants you to sell their car for them because they have gone to France. We can add a few words. Sell my car, I've gone to France. Now repeat after me. Sell my car, sell my car, my car. I've gone to France. I'm going to France. But yeah, aquí estas my, I, y tú son structure words. ¿Verdad? Que si usted solo tiene las structure words, sí no entendería nada. Porque si solo le digo my, I, tú, ¿qué estoy diciendo ahí? Nada. Pero si yo le digo sell car, con France, ahí sí le da alguna idea. Pero ya, cuando usted pone sell my car, es como que está dando una orden, ¿verdad? Vende mi car. I've gone to France. Me he ido a Francia. Ok. Now. The new words do not really add any more information, but they make the message more correct grammatically. We can add even more words to make one complete grammatically correct sentence, but the information is basically the same. Right, entonces ahí vemos. Eh, las content words están en amarillo y las structure words están en rosado. Will you sell my car because I've gone to France? 
Aquí ya es, si cuando usted le agrega el will you sell my car, y ahí ya no es un imperativo, sino que ahí está haciendo como una petición, ¿verdad? Will you sell my car because I've gone to France? Pero si nos fijamos, will you sell my car because I've gone to France? Las content words van stress. O sea, las tenemos que hacer con acento, ¿verdad? Más fuerte que las structured words. In our sentence, the four keywords, sell, car, gone, France, are accentuated or stressed. Why is this important for pronunciation? It is important because it adds music to the language. It is the rhythm of the English language. It changes the speed at which we speak and listen to the language. The time between each stress word is the same. Okay. So aquí ya, ya explica algo un poquito más complicado sobre el stress. Eh, si nos fijamos, aquí dice cuántas sílabas tiene. Y aquí dice que este es un bit. Bit, bit, bit. Y este es tiempo uno. Tiempo, o sea que eh, lo que nos vamos a tardar en decir esto. Es lo mismo que nos vamos a tardar en decir esto, esto y esto. ¿Ok? para mantener como la, la música o el ritmo. Pero in our sentence, there is one syllable between cell and car, and three syllables between car and gone. But the time between cell and car, and between car and gone, is the same. Okay? We maintain a constant beat on the stress words. To do this, we say my more slowly and because I more quickly. We change the speed of the small structure words so that the rhythm of the key content words stays the same. Will you sell my car? Will you sell my car because I've gone to France? Will you sell my car because I've gone to France? Ok. Vale, aquí está otro ejemplo. Lo que está aquí en eh, eh, mayúscula es lo que tiene que ir stress. I'm a professional photographer whose main interest is to take special black and white photographs that exhibit abstract meanings in their photographic structure. ¿Verdad? Entonces, aquí están algunas reglas. Eh, content words stressed. Eh, estos son los content words. Main verbs, nouns, adjectives, adverbs, and negative auxiliaries. Example, main verbs, sell, give, employ. Nouns, car, music, marry. Adjectives, red, big, interesting. Adverbs, quickly, why, never. And negative auxiliaries, don't, aren't, can't. Por supuesto que hay muchas más, ¿verdad? Pero aquí les están dando ejemplos de lo que nos estamos refiriendo aquí. O sé sea que estas eh, palabras, cuando usted las mire en una oración, siempre las va a tener que dar un stress. Y estas son structure words that are on stress. Eh, son los pronouns, las prepositions, los articles, las conjunctions y los auxiliary verbs. O sea, 
el main verb, main verb va stress. Auxiliary verbs van on stress. Okay. The nouns are stress. The pronouns are on stress. Prepositions, uh, for example, on, at, into, esas van on stress. Y los articles, an, an, and the, esos también son on stress. Las conjunctions, and, but, because. ¿Verdad? Y como ya dijimos, los auxiliary verbs. Pero hay ciertas excepciones a las reglas. Entonces, the rules above are for what it is called neutral or normal stress. But sometimes we can stress a word that would normally be only a structured word. For example, to correct information. Look at the following dial. They've been to Mongolia, haven't they? No, they haven't, but we have. O sea, ellos no han ido, pero nosotros sí. ¿Verdad? Entonces, si, se fa, si se fijan, aquí está estresando un pronoun, los dos pronombres. ¿Pero por qué? Porque está enfatizando que hay un error en lo que está diciendo. Entonces, ellos no, no han ido, pero nosotros sí, ¿ok? Not that also that when B is used as a main verb, it is usually on stress. Even though as a main verb, it is also, it is also a content word. So, estos son las exceptions to the rule. Y este... Eh, este eh, eh, en este lugar ustedes pueden encontrar un quiz ¿verdad? este para para lo que es el estrés eh, se, los, se los voy a mandar ahorita esto al whatsapp para que intenten hacerlo Y permita. Le voy a mandar solo el, el link. Para que ingrese. Voy a poner el link aquí. Ok. Ahí. Ok. Vale, voy a compartir para que lo hagamos entre todos. Ya les mandé el PPT para que lo abran, para que agarren la información. Y este, esto lo pueden hacer ustedes individualmente, pero lo vamos a hacer ahorita entre todos. Ok. Which words in a sentence are usually stressed. ¿Cuáles son las palabras que son usualmente eh, acentuadas en una oración? Los content words o los structured words. 
Fountain works. Fountain works. Las que son estresadas, ¿cuáles son? Los fountain works. Structure. Seguro. No, content. 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 Content words. Okay, now. Which words can carry little meaning but make a sentence grammatically correct? Structure words. Structure. Structure words. Okay. Now, when speaking English, we try to create rhythm in which the time between stressed word is the same or different? Same. El tiempo. Estamos hablando the del tiempo. Time. The same. The same. Okay. Now, which is a list of content words? They should through or Donald's eyes small. Content words. Donald's eyes small. Okay, Donald's eyes small. Okay. Which are not usually stressed. ¿Cuáles no son eh, eh, estresadas? Prepositions, Preposition, articles, articles, pronouns, conjunctions, or nouns, main verbs, adjectives, adverbs. Not usually stress. ¿Cuál sería? Preposition, articles, pronouns, and conjunctions. Okay. Now, which is the normal or neutral stress pattern? If you can call me in the morning. If you can call me in the morning. The first is you can call me in the morning. Okay. Which is the normal neutral stress pattern? They went to London to visit the Queen. They went to London to visit the Queen. The second, they, okay. they went to London to visit the Queen. Okay, now which is the normal neutral stress pattern? If we cook, could you wash the dishes? If we cook, could you wash the dishes? The first. The first. first. Okay. Now, an exception to the rule. We can also stress the structural words in order to provide or correct information. What sería aquí? Correct, wrong information. Now, which stress pattern corrects this statement? I'm sure they work for the police. They don't, but we do. They don't, but we, but we do. What sería? They don't, but we do. Okay. Me vamos a mandarlo a ver cómo nos sale. Ver la puntuación. ¿Estamos bien? Ok. Eh, esto, como les digo, este, es de mi cosecha, por eso eh, el, 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 eh, el ejercicio está fuera de la plataforma. ¿verdad? Y tampoco lo voy a obligar a que lo hagan. Ya lo hicimos aquí entre todos. Pero si ustedes se quieren probar a ustedes mismos, ahí tienen en el WhatsApp para poder entrar y hacer el, el test. Pero este, si necesitan ver las respuestas correctas, aquí están. Este, leámoslo a cada quien para en lo que ustedes... Eh, Lo, 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 
lo, lo confirmamos. ¿Ok? Eh, cada uno de ustedes va a leer uno. Así que empezamos, vamos primero con Irving, después Gabriel, después Miguel y después Omar. Suleima ya se fue. No, aquí estoy. Ah, ahí está. Es que no la miraba. Ah, ahí está. Ok. Entonces, y Suleima. O sea, en ese orden hasta que terminemos. Ok. Irving. Okay. Which words in sentence are usually stressed? Content words? Okay, excellent. Now, number two. Which words carry little meaning but make a sentence grammatically word fed? Descriptive words. Excellent. Now, number three. No, no, no. Eh, no han quitado el mute. Ok. When speaking English, we try to create. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Create a rhythm. Create a no, rhythm. Create a, a rhythm. Create a rhythm. In which the time between. A stretch word is the same. Okay. Okay, now, uh, Omar. Which is a list of counter word, Donald A. Moore. Okay, thank you, Suleima. We which are not usually stressed. Prepositions, articles, pronouns, conjunctions. Conjunctions, excellent. Now, uh, Uriel, again. Which is the normal neutral stress pattern? If you can, call me in the morning. Okay, thank you. Now, Gabriel. Which is normal neutral stress pattern they went the, to London to visit the Queen. Excellent. Next, Miguel. Which is the normal neutral is a stress pat pattern. If we cook, call you wash the dishes. Excellent. Now, Omar. An exception to the rule, the rule we can help say a structure word into all the correct wrong information. Correct wrong information. Excellent. Now, Suleima. Guish mm, stress. Pattern corrects this statement. I'm sure they work for the police. They don't, but we do. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Espero que les haya parecido interesante lo que les conseguí. Esto no lo van a encontrar en la plataforma. Eh, esto sí, esto sí ya es de la plataforma. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparisons with adjectives by expressing preferences. Now, uh, follow the reading and then we will do the, the dialogue together, okay? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. 
Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the gold one. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no. Thanks. Okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay. Si se fijan, aquí vamos a necesitar tres. And, su e, and the clerk. Okay. Entonces. A ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Eh, va a haber alguien que se va a tener que repetir. ¿Quién va a querer repetirse? O oh, bueno, en uno de en, en, en uno de ellos yo voy a ser el clerk. Vaya, eh, who wants to be Anne? Okay. Okay, and who wants to be Sue? Me. Okay, and who uh, will be the clerk? ¿Quién va a ser el clerk? Hello, Me. hello. Okay, now start. Look, uh, um, the jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay. Now, uh, Miguel, you are going to be Anne, and Omar, you are going to be Sue. And I will be the clerk. Okay? Start. Look, this jacket are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like to wear one better. The word one? We? Why? 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 Uh -huh. It can look Woman. Will I like the leather one better? One better. It's more stylish than the stylish. wool. Stylish. Stylish. Stylish than the wool one. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me. How much is the jacket? It's four hundred ninety-nine. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no, that's okay. But thank you anyway. You're welcome. Bien. Entonces ahora, eh, en el primer, la primera que pasaron. Este, hoy Suleima va a ser Ann. Este, Gabriel va a ser Su. Y Uriel va a ser Declare. Ok. Now start. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I, I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks white. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there is no price tag. 
Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's four hundred ninety-nine. Would you like to try it on? Oh no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay. Yo me lo hubiera probado aunque sea. Y si me gustaba cómo me quedaba trabajar fuerte hasta poderla comprar. <risa> ok. Now. Eh, eh, now, Omar, you are going to be eh, Ann. Miguel is going to be Sue. And I will continue being the clerk. <laughs> or some someone of you wants to be the clerk. Alguno de ustedes quiere ser el, 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 el que atiende. No? No. Bye. Okay. Go ahead. Look, the jackets are really nice. Do you want to use I like the word one better. The word one with? Why? 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 Repeat. Why? The word one why? It's, it looks warmer. Well, I like the better one either it's more styly than the word one. Mm, there, there is no price. Duck. Price, price oh. tag. Price tag. Price tag. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, how much is the jacket? It's four hundred ninety-nine. Would you like to try it on? Mm, no, that okay. But that anyway. You're welcome. Okay. Bueno, ya casi terminamos. Este, ¿Alguna duda o consulta con respecto a, al vocabulario? What is the meaning of gul? Gul, lana. Okay. Lana. En leather, piel. O sea, cuero. Uh -huh. Price tag es este donde viene el precio, la etiqueta del precio. Y este cuando decían stylish, stylish. Algunas veces eh, pronunciaban esta mal. Repeat. Stylish. Todos. Stylish. 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 Y why. 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 Bien. Este, ¿Lo vamos a repetir todos? Otra vez. Look. 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 These jackets are really nice. These, These jackets, jackets are, really are really nice. Really nice. Which one do you prefer? Which, Which one, one do, do you prefer? prefer? I like the gold one better. I, I like, like the gold one, one better. better. The gold one? The gold one. The gold one. The one. Why? 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 It looks warmer. It looks, it it looks, looks warmer. warmer. Well, I like the letter one better. Well, well, well I like, I the, like, the, like the letter one, one better. better. It's more stylish than the good one. It, it's, it's more, more stylish, stylish than, than the good one. one. 
Mm, there is no price tag. Mm, there is there no, no price tag. tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? Excuse me, how much, how much is this jacket? jacket? It's 499. Would you like to try it, it on? It, it's 499. Would you like to try it on? Oh no, that's okay. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no, that's okay. That's okay. But thanks anyway. But, but thanks, thanks anyway. anyway. You're welcome. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Me este... Tengo algo por aquí también. Este... Estas readings no se las han estado poniendo, pero considero que sería bueno que lo hiciéramos. Esta es de la primera lección. Primero se lo voy a leer yo todo y después este, vamos a ir eh, leyendo, digamos, hasta la primera, hasta el primer punto. Entonces... Por ejemplo, si empieza Gabriel, lee hasta el primer punto y después que él termine, él decide quién va a continuar después de él. O sé sea que todos tienen que ir siguiendo la lectura porque no saben si a él le va a continuar seguir leyendo. ¿Ok? Entonces, pero ahorita todos sigamos la lectura. Joan Chen. Do you know this film's terms? Actor... Actress, agent, director, firm studio, producer, leading part. A propósito, ¿conocen ustedes esos términos? Sí. Actor, actress. O sea, actor y, a, y actriz. Agent es casi lo mismo. Agente. Director, director. Film Studio, estudio de filmación. Producer, productor. El, el producer normalmente es el que da el dinero, ¿verdad? Y leading part es cuando eh, es como el personaje principal de la historia, ¿ok? Entonces ahora, Joan Chen is famous both in China where she grew up and in the United States where she now lives. How did Joan become a famous actress in two countries? It's an interesting story. Joan Shen was born in Shanghai in 1961. When she was 14, some people from a film studio came to her school and chose her to study at the studio. She was happy about this chance, but mainly she liked the idea of getting out of school. Soon, however, she discovered that she really liked acting. At age 18, she won the Golden Rooster China's Top Film Award. In the late 1970s, Joan's parents, who were doctors, moved to the United States. Joan joined them when she was 20 and went to college there. Her parents hoped she would study medicine. Instead, she majored in film and later looked for work as an actress. To work in the United States, Joan had to start all over again. She told Hollywood agents 
that she was an actress in China, but she only got some small parts in TV shows. One day, Joan went to speak to a director who was making a movie called Tai Pan. The interview didn't go well. As she walked away, a man in a car noticed her. The man was Dino De Laurentiis, the firm's producer. He immediately offered her a leading part. A year later, she started in Bernardo Bertucci's The Last Emperor and was on her way to worldwide fame. Okay. Este, este está en la página 7 del manual que les dije que bajaron. Así que practíquenlo por su cuenta y en la próxima clase hacemos la lectura. Ok, see you tomorrow. Ok, bye bye. bye. Take good care. Bye bye. Bye bye.